Hey, what's up? Today, we are going to unbox the brand new 12.9 inch iPad Pro, the Magic Keyboard in gray, and the new Apple Pencil. So let's open this up and check out the new 2021 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Beautiful. Always love Apple's packaging. iPad looks great. The one complaint that I always have on tablets now is this massive camera bump. It's time to flush the bump. That's my biggest complaint. It doesn't sit flat. It's wobbling around. It's great to have a nice camera on it. That's fine and all. But in the front, they're able to flush the bump in the front. It's time to flush the bump in the back. In the box itself, you've got your standard paperwork, charge brick, thank you Apple, and your charger. Thank you for keeping the charge brick in the box, Apple. Opening up the iPad, beautiful experience. Apple always has a great unboxing experience. And this iPad is just massive, beautiful, really great for productivity. In the space gray, you got your connectors down here, powering it on. While that powers up, let's open the Magic Keyboard. So for 2021, they allowed the keyboard to be a little bit bigger to fit an ever so, so th slightly thicker iPad. Magic Keyboard is definitely weighty. There's a ton of weight behind this. I'd say feeling it in the hand between the iPad and the Magic Keyboard, they're almost the same weight. So combined together, it's definitely going to be really heavy if you're holding both of them together compared to like just having the iPad or even just a MacBook Pro, right? If this is what you're comparing to having a, a MacBook or MacBook Pro, wow, beautiful keyboard though. Really nice experience here. Wasn't expecting that. It's stiff, it's firm, it's weighty. Wow. Really nice. I like how they use the uh, center portion for all of your materials, like stickers. Wait, is there stickers in here? Apple, did you give us stickers for Magic Keyboard? You didn't give me stickers. Apple. Arr. All right. Now let's fire up the new Apple Pencil. It's Apple's stylus. When Steve Jobs famously said that we have five stylists right here. Really good experience on this. Beautiful Apple Pencil. Feels great. Really nice in the hand. Weighty. Does have some weight to it. It's going to be really nice to use on the keyboard. Or on the iPad. Apple Pencil. It's all your paperwork. Fun stuff. Alright. Thanks Apple Pencil. Let's check it out. Let me boot it up. Be right back. iPad's all set up. Apple Pencil magnetically attaches, shows you the battery. The iPad itself, really great build quality. Really, really great. So if you're upgrading from an older version iPad with a button, this is a really great iPad. One thing that, I, again, I don't like is that it's going to wobble on the table because of the camera bump, but getting the Space Gray keyboard, it magnetically attaches really seamlessly really easy. And on the Space Gray keyboard, you can see all the letters light up. So it is backlit. And when it folds down, closes up really nicely. It's definitely got some weight to it. So it is heavy. So if you're looking for a light iPad or a light tablet, this is not light. This is definitely a couple of pounds to it. So it is heavy. But as I mentioned earlier, it definitely looks great. Feels good in the hand. Really really nicely done. The iPad itself, again, it's really nice. Um, for somebody that's using this on the go, I did get the cellular version. I did get the space gray keyboard. A lot of people went with white, but I went with space gray because I am on the go. I'm using it for work. Uh, and I definitely need the tablet itself um, 
to stay in place, stay secure, <laughs> and the keyboard to stay looking uh, as fresh as possible. With how much I'm using it for work, it's definitely gonna get dirty quickly. So for me, it was important to go with gray. Snappy mini LED looks great. Really, really fresh, clean. You can look at it from any angle. All the viewing angles on this look really good. Great build quality, really happy with the product. If you're thinking of getting an iPad or a new iPad Pro, you're gonna see a massive difference if you are upgrading from one that does have a button. So for me, definitely give it three, three thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.